process of packing, my husband's packing. I wanted to do a vlog kind of, I don't know, just start vlogging more, I guess, because there's like a lot going on with the house build, if you watched my previous videos, and moving back into the RV, and just little tidbits, things like that. But for the past month, we went up north to, well, basically to backtrack. We sold our house in New York, moved into the RV full time, if you never heard like a recap, traveled a little bit for about half a year, and then went to South Carolina, bought some land, and we're staying with my sister right now. Our RV is in storage, and we decided to come up north. I had to fix, we bought a car in auction and wanted to fix it, so we brought the car here on a trailer, and, and I'm gonna be driving it back. My husband's gonna drive the truck. But we stayed here for a whole month. It took a lot longer than expected doing everything. And then we visited family in New York for a week since we were here, I haven't seen everybody in like a whole week. So it's kind of like a little mini recap, if you will, but tomorrow we're finally gonna be heading back home. So I haven't really been filming much because we've just been basically spending a lot of time with family. I did do one vlog when we went to New York. I took out my extensions, thinking to also chop the hair. So stay tuned for that. I mean like, legitimately chop it, but we'll see. So I'm packing up. I got a lot of my stuff out of storage here because we had a lot of my, basically all of our stuff is in storage here for the most part. Like things that we didn't take into the RV, into the RV we took most of our clothes and then just everything that we would need, but like larger things like suitcases, certain shoes that I knew I wouldn't wear, certain purses that I knew I wouldn't wear just because we're RV traveling, staying at state parks. I'm like, where am I gonna wear these knee high boots at a state park, you know? So I'm gonna be taking all that stuff back, taking my suitcases, so I'm packing all that up, and then right now we're gonna head to Walmart and buy some snacks for the road. I'd much rather stop somewhere and eat, like just get, pick up something to eat rather than like eat in the car, but at the same time you do wanna have like little snacks, you know what I'm saying? So that's what's been up lately in our lives. We haven't really even done any house stuff or anything like that because We've been here, my husband wants to, as soon as he gets down there, he wants to like set up electric so they can do electric. And then we gotta really dial down on a house plan and get that process moving. That's been like our biggest hurdle right now is finding a house plan. We have looked and looked and looked and looked. I'll probably talk about that in another video, but yeah, that's like our next big decision. I'm trying to see if there's like anything else I wanna say. Probably not, not right now. Good morning. We are packing up, getting ready to leave. I made myself a one-shot cappuccino. Got our snacks and food situated. Probably gonna stop by Dunkin' for the kids for the morning. By the way, I snip, snip, snippity snipped the hair yesterday. I just couldn't hold it anymore. I might even go a little bit shorter. Oh, I don't know. Um, but yeah, I might stop by Dunkin' Donuts so the kids have something like an easy breakfast. But for lunch, we're gonna have sandwiches, we bought some snacks, yogurt tubes, things that kids are gonna like, drinks, whatever. I gotta find some podcasts to listen to because I'm not looking forward to these nine hours. And Louise is not feeling too well, but hopefully she will be fine. And just kind of gets to sleep the whole way, we'll see. We got the kids some headphones. So the car that I have, really cool is that it has little DVDs, little DVDs, has like DVDs on the back headrests. We picked out a DVD and then some headphones for them so they can listen to while we're driving. So that's really nice. That's really helpful. We had the same thing when we had a Suburban, but those kind of like tilted down. These are like on the back of the headrest. But it definitely helps for like long road trips so they're not looking down at pads or something like that. What's up? We are taking a little break. Yeah, this is our first stop. We've been driving for probably, yes, here's some water. Oh, yogurt. We've been driving for about three hours now, decided to stop to use the restaurant. Only like seven more hours to go. And Louise threw up a couple times. I had like a little puke bag for her, triple bagged. Hopefully that was all of it. A little moosey moosey, but otherwise this whole driving game is not for me. <laughs> I'm gonna drive a couple more hours then stop and have lunch and then probably stop one or two more times. So it's taking a lot longer than usual, but we'll get there, we'll get there. It is the next day, got home safe and sound, praise the Lord, around like 7.30 p.m. It really wasn't that bad of a drive. Thank goodness for the little DVDs and the headrests, those really kept the kids preoccupied, even though we had like two on rotation. <laughs> But um, Eloise wasn't feeling well the whole ride, but she held, she was adamant about like holding this plastic bag to her face the entire time in case she wanted to throw up again. She did throw up quite a few times, but overall, you know, pretty good. We got home safe, nothing, you know, not too much traffic or anything. It was great. Thank the Lord for that. 
But we are home now. I came home yesterday and I unpacked all of my stuff, put everything away. There was like chaos in this room. I'm someone that loves to unpack as soon as I get home, or at least the next day, but I'll do it usually right away. And then I had a ton of packages come in. I had all of their like homeschool stuff come in from BJU, The Good and the Beautiful, which I want to get to. I was just like going, I was on this kick of like organizing everything and getting rid of stuff and just changing everything. So I got stuff out of storage, as I mentioned, from my in-laws house when we were in Philly. So there was like a lot of clothes for my daughter that was in storage. So I swapped the smaller clothes that were small on her. She's five now. So I took out all her 4T stuff and hung up all the 5T stuff and put it away. So I like swapped everything out, which is like doing that and just like cleaning and everything. So I'm moving back into the RV in less than a month. So I want to slowly start moving stuff into the RV, like their homeschool stuff, take out their old books, put them in storage and put the new ones in, just like slowly start doing all of that. So it's like, it's been, it was like, chaotic yesterday but it was, it was good it was good we're good i wanted to talk about some things that i got in the mail while we were gone first thing that i want to make is actually um like my morning celery juice so i for a year now probably more yeah so definitely over a year now i started researching into like hormone health balancing your hormones there are a lot of great accounts on instagram there where they have pretty good information but there was one blog post that I recently came across that where she actually offered really helpful educational information, not just telling you um, don't drink coffee on an empty stomach, which is where I was going with this, but actually telling you like what hormones, why, how they work, all of that. And the blog was, I think it was Hormone Health or HormoneBalancing.com. I'll try to link it down below. And it's by Magdalena, I don't really know how to pronounce her last name, Salaki. I'm not sure and I saw that she had this book here on Amazon she has another one like a cookbook but I want to get that one later and I'm like 99% sure that I'm estrogen dominant just based on like my periods tracking them how I'm feeling all of that like all the symptoms obviously you know your body best and it always is helpful to talk with your physician get tested which is the next step but you want you want to make sure you know what you're testing for and what tests you're getting I don't want to just throw money into these tests because they're pretty expensive and they're usually not covered by insurance so I want to learn about it first but I'm pretty sure I'm estrogen dominant just reading a lot of materials and stuff like that so I bought this book from her and I'm really interested to like get into it and even if you're not I feel like there's just great information in here in her blog if you sign up for her newsletter I'll link it down below it has so much great information on like how things work I feel like hormones are such a big part and a lot of times there's so many factors that play into it I mean from everything from like the products that we use the lifestyle that we live the food that we eat our habits so I don't know just really interesting to me and I'm really in a place where I want to like give it my all in terms of changing certain lifestyle habits I ordered a few supplements as well that I felt my body personally could benefit from these Supplements are very, very personal, I would say, and I know a lot of people will say you can just get it from food, which you totally can. I do think that food comes first and getting those habits in place because if you're, you know, eating like crap and then taking supplements, it's like in the wind, you know, it's not really going to do much. So I do think food is important, but at the same time, I don't think food today, even like organic and all of that, has the exact nutritional benefits that it had years ago personal opinion and a lot of people will agree with me or they'll disagree with me so this is where supplements come into play but you have to make sure you're getting the right ones for your body and you're getting really good quality ones so I ordered a few from Wilena, Wilena. I got B vitamin, vitamin C, zinc and magnesium but those are going to come in tomorrow and then I also ordered this Armour Colostrum powder just because I heard so many great things about it I mean so many great things about it and I haven't read too much into it. It really seemed like something that I would benefit from and like. So I'm going to give it a try. I got the blood orange one. And I got 30, the 30 powder packets. So we'll see. They do have like the flavorless ones. But I don't care how flavorless people say they are. I feel like I always still taste it. So I'm going to give this a try. It's supposed to have just really great benefits. And so back to my no coffee on an empty stomach. That's something that I have tried implementing over a year ago but I never really like stuck to it just because coffee is like such 
a part of my routine, but I really want to change that um, just to wake up and not think like coffee. Just, and I don't drink it to wake me up. I drink it for like the mood, the vibe, the feeling. It's just, it, it's like instant joy when I drink my morning cup of coffee. So I want to change that and hold off like an hour or two until I wake up and have something else instead, whether it's tea, which I'm not a big tea drinker, but I want to start. Um, I have this gut feeling powder, prebiotic powder that I reordered. Very simple ingredients. I really liked it. It tastes kind of earthy but not really it has more of like a celery taste i want to say it's like the best the best but it's really not that bad especially if you put it over ice or add some lemon in so it's just celery Jer jerusalem artichoke inulin lemon apple lemon balm and ginger and it's literally it that's all that's in here just mix a few teaspoons or tablespoons into some water my plan is to take this as like a shot because it doesn't really taste the best i'm not gonna lie so just put like a little bit in like a little shot glass drink it and then this sip on in the morning as like over like a glass of ice or something and then get to my morning coffee or maybe switch it up with a tea i want to get into like herbal teas again not a big tea drinker but just i want to start making like better habits and choices and lifestyle changes because me waking up and boom coffee not the best not the best i'm kind of like trying to go through everything organize it and get rid of stuff I don't need. So what I was doing, I have a trash can, a whole trash can behind me, is because I wanted to go through like my makeup and get rid of what I don't need. For example, these lash glues. I have so many lash glues. I also want to um, go through my lash stash because I have so many lashes. And I don't really use a lot of them. I'm thinking to like give a lot to my sister. Like there's some glues in here that I love, like the Malucci, but I've had it for, now nah, this is still a good glue. We're gonna keep it. <laughs> but like the Ardell one, I'm probably never gonna use this. It's the one that's like pretty strong, similar to like lash extension glue. And then some other glues that are just old and like gross and I've had for forever. This is literally all lash glues, sealants. It's been a journey, you guys. It's been a journey. I've tried so many different kinds at this point. <laughs> I have to do a video reels for these. These are from the brand um, Lajoli. See, now that I'm saying it out loud, I, I'm like butchering it. Is it Lajoli Muse? They're on Amazon and they have the cutest home decor stuff in terms of like candles, blankets. I love their candles. They sent me a few Valentine's Day ones, but they they give like anthropology vibes for sure. Like look at this one. This one's a Christmas one. You cannot tell me that this is not like a beautiful glass and everything and it smells wonderful like so beautiful can you imagine putting this on your coffee table it's just absolutely gorgeous if you're looking for good candles that give like anthropology vibes but that are not that expensive well they're kind of pricier but they're not that expensive i'm the one that is like super excited for pumpkin season <laughs> okay this one is gorgeous look at the jar it's just so beautiful this one is so pretty. So this is their pumpkin chai. And again, you can shop them on Amazon. They're just such beautiful, beautifully designed, amazing candles in my opinion. All right, let's try this blood orange the gut feeling from your super that green powder that tastes very grassy but it's it's not too bad squeeze in a little bit of lemon if you want to like slow sip it but otherwise like done it's a lot of clumps mm. wow this is so good literally tastes like a blood orange like the like a certain soda, I don't know, I can't remember which one. This is actually really good. Like to slow slip in the slow sip in the summer. Mm -mm -mm. Mm. I like that. Okay. I want to take you guys like along everything that I want to do. But I'm overall healthy I would say and I'm very thankful for my health. I feel like health is so important. I'm always like, wow. Whenever I get into a mindset of 
let's say if I'm unhappy about my body that week or something like that, just being honest, my number one thing that I do is I will like sit back and I'll think like you're healthy, your body functions well for the most part other than like some gut issues. Just me being so grateful to be healthy, to be able to move and all of that, for me that's like the most important thing. It's like superior. Once your health goes down, I feel like that's it. I don't care, nothing matters. I don't care how I look or anything like that. If my health sucks, what does it matter at that point? That's how I feel. I think health is just, it's so important. And health can mean different things for different people. It's not just how you look or exercising or all that. It's like, it's everything. It's everything, mind, body, soul, everything. I've been slowly reading and researching and stuff, but I think this is the year where I'm like, okay, I need to make certain changes because I do have some gut issues. Like I get upset stomach. Um, I, as a kid, I used to get upset stomach. I remember like Sunday school, I'd be so embarrassed because I had to use the bathroom because I got an upset stomach. Recently went to, this is like a TMI story, but we went to Charleston with my sister. It was such a great time. It was with like my sister and her friend. Out of the blue, I kid you not, my stomach is like, we are not happy today. I was like, oh no. And you know what I mean by that. When your stomach says no, and you're in like a public space, there's no like public bathrooms really. There was one a horrible experience. Like I was just like, when my stomach, it was like hurting and ugh, I don't even want to think about it. I'm not even gonna go into it, but yeah, I was like out of the blue and I'm like, what the heck? And that happens sometimes. Either I'll get like backed up, and your body's smart, it talks to you, it has ways of telling you something's up, and something's definitely up. Something that I've always dealt with, like upset stomach and things like that. Look at this teeny teeny baby. Oh, that's so cute. I'll the video here, but my supplements came in, so I wanted to show you guys what I got. I got B Maximus. These are all from Walena, Walena. I don't know how to pronounce them. I did have a promo code, I think it was like welcome 15 or something like that. I always Google the brand and then promo code and see which ones work. It has vitamin C, thiamine, mainly like the B vitamins, vitamin B6, vitamin B12. And this does seem to be a pretty trusted brand, which is important when it comes to supplements. I got magnesium replenish, magnesium glycinate, some zinc, and then I think the last one's vitamin C, if I'm not mistaken. Ooh, this one's a glass jar. This one is a vitamin C complete. I'm gonna go ahead and put these in this wheel here, take them every day, and then also from Amazon, I ordered, because I'm not a tea drinker, so I wanted to buy a cute cup. I wanna start drinking loose teas, so I got like a in infuser type glass cup. It's like, comes with, it's three parts. So you have the actual glass mug itself, and then this part right here, where you put the tea leaves, has little holes in it. Let the tea steep, and then like a bamboo silicone type lid. And then when you're done, you can just flip the lid upside down, put the tea leaves on here, and then enjoy your tea. I just thought it was really cute. Just like a great way to drink loose tea without having all this extra stuff. I but that is it for today. I think I'm gonna finish the video here. Um, thank you guys so much for hanging out, and hopefully I'll see you guys in future videos. Oh, 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 oh,